welcome back to another video i hope everybody is doing good because i'm doing amazing yeah so today we'll be reacting to be reacting to the worst school rules ever i've i've seen some of the worst rules in my life here remember i've been from back home so i'm not from here i'm from the asian subcontinent and i've been to school there when i was little i was very small but i vaguely remember the rules there was crazy rule we used to come late they used to have like a bowl full of water and then they used to take your socks and everything off cold water in the morning they used to tell you to stand and then they used to hit you with that was the punishment just for coming late and here there's not much rules here apart from the dumbest rules that i've seen here you can't wear a jacket inside building but when you're going out you can wear it it's like i don't know what jack is gonna do but anyway let's react to some of the worst school rules around the world let's see how it goes let's go standing up to bullies I, th I think that's a very good rule man i think every school should have a board that says men stand up to your bullies stop going coming towards complaining about a man hitting you learn to fight because that's what men do yeah they fight that's what you should be doing fighting learn the art of fighting they learn the art of hurting another man if he's trying to hurt i'm not saying just go around randomly start picking on people no if somebody's trying to pick on you you should be able to defend yourself men should know how to fight because that's what men are men are strong people women rely on us to give them protection to give them security and if we can't back ourselves out we're gonna defend somebody else give lunch money if you lean back on your chair you have to pay all of your lunch money to the teacher what no snitching you can get detention from complaining to a teacher about a bully can't mingle girls and boys cannot sit together in school and college premises Mm, no best friends protect students from the from trauma having a break up with close friends bracket <laughs> If fifth grade girls are not wearing them, they are sent directly home. I think this is American. I don't know what fifth grade is, but okay. Toilets closed for a week. If they find someone has been peeing outside the urine, they close it for a week. Damn, bro, what's happening? No backpacks. Students who are expected to somehow carry everything they need in hand. Toilet paper rationing. A teacher distributes a few squares of one plate. Why is this happening? Bro, I hope this is not in like the Middle East or one ply toilet paper. Bro, use water. All the students in that in that school here yeah, use water. Trust me, it's more healthier and it's uh, better than toilet paper, man. One ply. It's gonna hurt your backside. Grade drop. If you walk into the class then your grade drops a letter. Damn. Actually, you know what? That's a good way. That's a good way of actually ma making sure that every single person attends on time. That's a good rule. I agree with that. No running at all. I don't know, man. This running thing, yeah. Because I remember in my, in my school, me and my mate, we used to just go around the halls chasing each other. And it was so fun. I used to just go around and teachers used to vibe, vibe and dive off people. People used to walk in the corner and just go slide in, slide out. Try going chasing them. We used to play tick tick. It was the best feeling ever. I remember we got trouble sometimes. But even the teachers, they didn't know our names. And so we used to just run around and let them chase us. They never got anyway open toilets too but huge mirrors on the opposite wall you can go in one at a time what no tie all time tie record all the way home and teachers would stand on the monitor what no waving on top of that you cannot call someone by their name to get their attention what no 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 wait on top of that so no waving and you cannot call somebody by their name to get their attention so how am i supposed to call you i'd be like hey orange hat who are we supposed to call that and because they have the names no playing with snow even sitting on it it's bizarre rules man this is one hell of a disgusting rules that's been going on what the hell no talking on which i agree with that one shouldn't talk while you're eating no high five and some more some school think it interferes with the student academic experience. Okay. Bathroom sign in. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> bathroom sign in. The faculty has to sign in and out of the bathroom using Google Sheets. They are fine when you don't speak English in school. I think that's probably like Asian. No birthdays. Prevent you from doing crazy things like food, egg war. Oh. Shower practice. If you skip a day, if you skip a shower, you have to show up after school for supervised shower. <laughs> <laughs> let me just picture this here let me just, so you haven't had a shower and you're going to school and you teach like have you had a shower and you're like no they're like okay come up to school we're gonna supervise your shower and yeah they're having a shower and you're just looking at you okay that place is not clean <laughs> just rub that on oh apply some soap there oh massage your head oh, oh you can't reach your back okay i'll do it for you bloods and crisps you can't wear solid blue or red shirt as they are gun color mm. No excuse. If you try to defend yourself from any accusation, it is an excuse. No hoodies in winter. You're just having your hood cut off if found wearing one. 
no mistake oh one school doesn't allow any erases and students are not told why i don't know what the reason could that be for improper i see in front of party no but it's longer than the 10 part no snowballs i think that's one of the most i don't know like school should be a good experience all these rules all that man. i don't know man they make it very stressful you have to listen to a 15 minute lecture about lateness okay that makes sense like you're late about a certain amount of time No gangs, can't be standing around in groups of more than four. Okay, that makes sense. No, no dancing. I agree that finally, a school that says no dancing. Dancing is the worst. I'm telling you, it is the, it's a technique of a Satan. A dancing around now. I was watching one video saying the, the woman goes to the husband. The, oh, dancing is good because it puts your weight down and all that. Nah, bullshit. Ooh, go gym, go for a run. Say, consider sexual harassment. Not, that, not to that level, but yeah. Can be licked into sharpened knife. No gloves, no gloves because only gang members wear gloves. That's Muslim washroom. Board and ban. The word boring is banned. The teacher want to make school seem fun. It's not fun. Not with all this going on, bro. You can't, you can't, if you don't have a shower, they're gonna gr grab you. If you don't wear a tie, they're gonna grab you. If you are late, they're gonna put you in a 15 minute lecture. What is going on? What kind of a school is this, bro? I hope this is not just one school rule, like multiple school rules. Strict dress code. I agree with that one. I think it, uh, no beards. Beard jewelry is gang related. Jewelry, yeah, but beard. What do you mean? No uncle socks. Why? Writing as a punishment. Many schools still use writing as a punishment. Interesting. Interesting. Let me know what your school rule is. Yeah, drop it down in the comment section below. Cause these are one crazy rule. Trust me, it's no joke. I would never be in that school. I will not last any day in that school. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Until the next time, you know what to do. Whatever you want to do, I don't care.